Hey there, I'm Louie, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to crochet a key. Um, you can make this, uh, I teach how to make this bigger and smaller if you'd like. Um, and this is part of my treasure pattern, which you can see right here. Uh, you can learn how to make a full treasure chest. Uh, and yeah, put it all together. Um, I also teach how to make it into a, a mimic, which is essentially like a monster treasure chest. Uh, you can find this pattern by going to clubcrochet.com slash treasure, um, and you can access it by becoming a Club Crochet member or a Louis Loops Patreon supporter for $5 a month, or you can purchase the pattern alone uh, for $3. So yeah, there's my little pitch. Uh, this pattern's really cool. It took me a long time to figure out how to explain it and how to make it into a pattern. Um, so I hope you like it. Um, also, really quick before I get going, I do want to talk about my tabletop game. So I have a tabletop game called Stitched. Uh, it's a tabletop game where you crochet all your pieces um, and this treasure chest is actually used in the game. So you can learn more about that game by going to stitchedthegame.com or using the link right here or in the description below. It's really cool. I think you'll really like it. Um, so go to stitchthegame.com to learn more about that. But for this pattern, I'm going to be making a little key. Um, for this video, I'm going to be using the following materials. I'm using all worsted weight yarn in 100% cotton. Um, you can use any kind of yarn that you want. I like worsted weight yarn because it's a little bit sturdier and this uh, can be a little floppy. So you might want some sturdy yarn. You might even want to double up your yarn. Because I'm using all worsted weight yarn, I'm using a size G four millimeter crochet hook. And uh, I'm gonna be working in gray, but of course you can make your key any color you want. It'd also be pretty cool if you made this with thread and kind of embroidered, make a tiny key for earrings. I think I'm going to try to make my girlfriend some of those. Um, but yeah, anyhow, <laughs> without further ado, let's get hooking. Okay, so we're going to use our gray yarn here. We're going to start by making a slip knot. Get a crochet hook in there. And we're going to start uh, by chaining uh, five. So one, two, three, four. Five. Now, if you want to make your key longer or um, a bigger hole for your key, you want to chain this a little bit longer um, if you want. Now, we're going to slip stitch into the first chain that we made right here. We're just going to do a slip stitch into that to form a ring. Let's see how that's going to form just a little, the littlest, tiniest ring. Okay, so for, uh, for I guess, not really round one, there's not really rounds in this because it's all kind of made in one piece, but for our first section, we're going to single crochet nine times into the center of this ring. So we're going to go into the center of this ring, yarn over and pull loop through, and we're going to single crochet around this ring nine times. Now you want this knot to be on the right, on the left side of your first single crochet. So before you finish your first single crochet, see I pulled my first loop through, I want to pull this knot onto the left side so that it's around the outside of this and this is going to be to hide this knot, and we'll finish up that first single crochet. So we want to do nine single crochets now. Our second single crochet, we're going to do around that knot. So we're going to pull that second one through and kind of work around the knot. And we're just going to work around this tail end for the rest of our, our stitches here. So we've got one, two, let's do three, four, five, six, seven, let's pull this end just over to the side, we don't need it, eight, and here's going to be nine. And we'll finish this up by slip stitching into this first single crochet that we made right here. We're just gonna work a slip stitch into that one. Okay, now I'm going to make what I call the base chains. Uh, let's actually start by, let's cut that, that end right there, we don't need it anyhow. So we're going to do what I call the base chains of our piece. Um, you might want to make this, uh, this is how you can make your key longer or shorter. Uh, we're going to just chain seven for my example though. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And the reason I call these the base chains is because when I when I talk about working into our base chains, uh, it'll be a little bit easier. So it'll make sense in just a second. Okay, so... Uh, we're going to be working into the back loops of the chains. So if you look at the chains, you got you know the top loop, we got the bottom loop, and then if you turn it upside down here, 
you can see you've got this little, these little spinal things that are called back loops. So we want to skip our first back loop of the chain and we want to get into the second one right here, right there, and we just want to do a slip stitch into that second chain. Okay, so just one slip stitch. And this is going to be the, the tip of our, of our key. Okay, now we want to chain three, one, two, and three. And now if you want to make your uh, little prongs of your key, this is what we're making right now. If you want to make these longer, then chain more than three. So we got chain three. Now we want to work into the back loops. We'll skip the first chain that we just made and start in our second one right here. Again, we're working into only these back loops. And we'll just do a slip stitch into these two um, back loops right here. One. And here's our second one. Two. Okay. So that's going to be the first uh, prong there. Now working into the base chains, okay, so into our next base chain. So this is our first base chain right there. So working to the next one right there, we're just going to slip stitch one into that. Okay, there's our first prong. Now we're gonna make another one of these prongs. We're going to chain three. One, two, and three. We'll skip our first chain, work into the back loop of our second chain right here. Need your nail to get into that. There we go. And we'll just do a slip stitch into that one. So it's the same thing as the last one. We'll do one slip stitch, We'll go do another slip stitch into the next one right there. Okay, and that'll make our second prong. You see how it's kind of coming together now. And now we want to be working back into our base chains. We have four more. We got one, two, three, and then four is going to be the one connecting it right there. And we want to do a slip stitch into each one of those. We want to skip the one that uh, that big hole right there. Okay, so go into this next base chain, and we do one and there's the next one make sure you get under all of the the bits of that chain there's two there's three and this is the last one right here four okay see how our our keys coming together this part you might want to tweak a little bit so that it's straighter on. Um, this is why I like using cotton yarn is because it's easier to tweak like that. And then to finish this key up, we're just going to slip stitch into the next stitch on our piece right here. Slip stitch into that one. And we can cut the yarn. You don't need much of an end there. Uh, go ahead and pull this all the way through and we're going to hide the end. So we're going to thread this onto a needle. and go into the back of the next stitch right here. Okay, so into the back of the next one. And then straight through the center of where you just came out of. And then we're just gonna hide this on the inside a little bit. And let's just go, just go ahead and hide it into just a couple of these. There we go, and we'll cut the end nice and close, and we have our finished key. We might want to tweak it a little bit. I like to pinch the end there, make sure it's tweaked right. But there you go, you got a little tiny, tiny itty bitty key. Thank you so much for uh, crocheting this pattern. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe down below. I have a bunch of free patterns just like this. And again, if you want to get this treasure chest pattern uh, or this mimic pattern, uh, go to clubcrochet.com slash treasure uh, and either become a Club Crochet member to get access to it or purchase the pattern uh, yourself. And yeah, thank you again so much for watching this pattern. And uh, yeah, pasta la pizza and happy hooking. Bye. Rah, 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 rah.